Mic check. One, two, one, two, mic check. Greetings, fellow tycoonians. Tycooners, tycoon fans, whatever you want to call yourselves. Greetings, mic check. Talk to me. Looking at the chat. Going live soon. Approximately three minutes and 40 seconds. Belgium Hunter, what's up? Diggy the Dog, what's up? Durf, yes. We'll be archived. JMR, my check affirmative. Love it. Copy that. 5x5. Five five. Magician, love it. Not too loud. If I get to... Uh, so I, may, I may get excited. I'm going to get a little freestyle here on my campaign today, guys. So there's a very good chance I'll get excited and the mic will spike. So let me know if it's killing your eardrums. Gary UK, check, check, check. Sylvester, I'm everywhere. You hear me? How are we looking? How are we looking in numbers here? How many people we got? Oh, nice full chat today. Awesome. Thank you, everybody, for coming. I'm going live here just a couple of minutes. Making sure I got everything set. I'm sure you can hear the game music in the background. You can also hear the clicks. I actually have my campaign up and running. The two close eye hearts. Ellis. Yes. All right. Let's tweak that out just a little bit. Bring that down ever so gently. Running at 48%. Is that a little bit better? Yeah, clipping. That's me in the game UI, clicking across all the different menu options. I actually have my park open right now. We're going to jump right into my park as soon as we take it off here. Cool. You guys can hear the clicks. It's good. Karan, yeah. That's funny. You guys got a little bit of delay in the same room. So you hear it's kind of like an echo. Super surround sound. Echo, echo, echo. Columbus, welcome back. Gary Mike Check looks good. Dominic. Yes, I'm sure there are other Germans in the channel. Ooh, being hosted. GJA, what's up, man? Thanks for the host. Love it. Spread the love. Spread the RCT love. Black screen. Uh, Hannah, are you talking about the stream, Hannah? Or are you talking about your game? Because on the stream right now, you should see the going live soon. Try and refresh. Twitch kind of lags every once in a while. JMR hosting. All right. Good looking out. Jordan, love it. 25 viewers. Good. Take them all. J. Don also hosting. Yeah, spread the love, please. Alexander, no, this is not going to be a German stream. This is English. It won't be Dutch either, so hopefully you can understand my English. I'll try to keep it slow for those that don't speak fluent English. I'll do my best. Cam 135, no giveaways today. PFC, haha, <laughs> hosting too. Love it, guys. Going live here in about 15 seconds. I'm watching that Cronus countdown right now. The Wet Dolphin, we're going to get about into it right about now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my campaign. Welcome. Face cam up. Let me scroll back a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, can you see me? Mic check. One, two, one, two. Video check. Let me scroll in here and get the music to go down a little bit. So today, what I'm going to share with you guys is my campaign. Um, before I do that, uh, you'll see me panning off over here to the left. Uh, we had a recent update yesterday. Very big update with a minor patch too as well. Um, I'm not going to regurgitate that to you guys again. I know a lot of you have been talking about you're tired of hearing me talk about what's already out there. 
I'm going to give you those quick links over here on our announcements as well as over on Steam. So at your leisure, you can read them whenever you want. Uh, I'm feeling very creative today. I'm going to go through and I'm going to work a little bit on my park. I'm actually going to try and jump in somebody else's park that they've already built. I want to take a little look at that. Uh, I have some UGC stuff too. I want to drop some UGC stuff in my park. So let me just take a quick minute. Thank everybody for the hosting. I want to make sure the... <clears throat> excuse me. My throat has to work first before it sounds good, right? <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to mute the mic and get a little... Mic check. One, two, one, two. Welcome back. I had to clear my throat. Sorry about that. I didn't want to cough in your ears. So, in our announcements page over on our forums, we have dev blog number four. That went up. Um, the developers took a lot of time putting information into what came out with this latest patch. And there you go. It's hot in the chat right now. If you guys click that link, it'll bring you over to our forums. Uh, same thing over on Steam's. Steam has our, the, the blog update as well. I know a lot of people tend to just live in Steam rather than our forums. So I'm going to go ahead and post both of those for you guys. This way, I'm not going to sit here for half an hour and talk about something that you've already heard because I know you guys are tired about that. Um, and I do appreciate that feedback. I am listening. Um, so again, what we are going to be sharing today is a little bit of creativity. I know a bunch of people have been working on some UGC stuff. Uh, and again, this is my campaign. So as we go through, is the lag the stream or the game? Invictus 118. Uh, I would check your Twitch settings, uh, see if you can get source quality. Uh, I know we had a bunch of checks earlier today, and people are talking about yeah, nice and clean and crisp and running through. Uh, always check your local settings to make sure that you're running what you need to run. Again, this is my campaign. I'm actually currently working on. I haven't gone to the advanced coaster builder yet because I have not accumulated enough cash to do that, but approaching 75,000 park value. Uh, I want to get more money. I've been going through speeding up time trying to get enough money, and I don't think that's going to happen. So I think what I'm going to do is basically go through and use some UGC. Um, check the chat, too. I got some chat. Mike is okay. Game 011001. Thank you. Mike check is good. Uh, it's just currently the way I think I have it locked right now. Settings. Yeah, that is a very good question. They were kicking before, so let's go ahead and speed up time and see if we get a cycle. If we get a day-night cycle here, see if they'll pop. I know, the day-night cycles need a little bit of balancing. I've heard some of the feedback on the uh, forums about that as well. Got, yeah, I need more lights in my park, too. This guy's broken. Why are you always broken? Ten minutes, that should be good enough. Speed up again. Yeah, Invictus, the, the peeps do get a little choppy when you zoom out here. I'll show you real quick. If you zoom in, you see how they get a little bit smoother as they walk? That's one of the optimization things that the dev team is working on right now. Uh, the further you get out, the more screen you're seeing in the game. So it's, it's rendering more stuff and it's taking up more of your CPU or GPU, whichever you're running. So, yeah, you're going to see that a little bit. <clears throat> see, you notice how I come out. You can see him chop a little bit. And that is okay. Next. Yeah. You know what, guys? Let's, you know, I'm running through this. I'm just off the cuff here. Let's go back to the main menu. Get a lot of talk about no shadows. Let's go ahead and reload. Hopefully, the load times will be significantly low they should be so let's go see look at that shadow distance very let's you know what let's just go instead of very far let's tweak it down to far go back to load what i last saved so i didn't i didn't do anything significant so let's see if it'll load it up now wait for it as it's loading Jeremy2410, what's up? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Give it a minute to load. Yeah, you can see everything building up. 
It's not a small park. I have all tiles open on, not all tiles, I think I have five tiles open on this one. So in the beginning of the show, you can see it's building all the structure for the actual supports on the coasters. Again, still no shadows, guys. What's up with that? It's not just me. You guys are seeing it, too. We're going to get it right. I want to get those shadows up for you guys. Game 011. Campaign looks nice. Have enough money for coaster. Yeah, I, I was doing some micromanaging. I was actually going through and adjusting the prices on the, the food, the food the stalls and stands and drink stands. They seem to be generating the most money from around those, so... See? You know what? Let's do... Let's go ahead and enable... Let's do far, enable... Let's go ahead... Let's see what happens. Enable... Better if you're... Eh, we can leave that one too. That's fine. Yeah, this is what we're going to get into later. I want to be able to load... <clears throat> some parks that people have already built content manager you can see parks here maps that's going to be kind of cool i want to get into that but let's go back to what i had and you know i might be saving that game i know that there were save game issues so there's a very good chance that it may be saving the old settings if there were no shadows turned on so try and load up something else that good chance of having shadows it's very interesting nice wet dolphin shout out to jmr good to see you dolphin Joel, <laughs> yeah, we're seeing that the shadows can't be seen. Yeah, they're there. Trust me, they are there. Loading, building your park. Please wait. I am waiting patiently. Doesn't look like they're popping again, guys. I think I think it's my specific map. I really do. Been have quite a number of hours on this map, so. And you guys can see it. I'm going in there changing those settings, so that's just... I don't know why they're not coming out. See, everything's built. Let's do this. Back to the main menu. Yeah, JMR, I did that. I paused it at night. I went through a full cycle before, too. Um, and it still didn't, so you know what? Just to check them, I'm going to go with a brand new one. I want to see if they come up with a brand new one that hasn't been adjusted, that hasn't been saved, that hasn't been worked on. Which is going to be kind of annoying because I want to play my park, my campaign that I've been working on. And not have to run through all the tutorials all over again. But that's alright, I just want to double check these shadows. See, there they are. It's my save game, guys. That's all it is. That's all it is. Like I said, I got a lot, I've been clocking a lot of hours on that one campaign, so... You can see, look, you know, look at those beautiful, lovely shadows. Look at those. Aren't they just so fabulous? And actually, you know what? Really quick, I know one of the issues with... Uh, it's not going to really let me either because I have to wait for the tutorials to kick in. And I'm not going to do that. So, let's go back out to the main menu. As we load, turn back to the chat, see what's going on. Joel, looking good here. Thanks, Joel. Appreciate that. And I gotta switch over. I had the chat in dark mode now. Some of you guys got uh, my color names. Nestle 85 looks nice. Thank you. Appreciate that. Shot locks. Yeah. A lot of people are happy with the updates, man. I'm telling you guys, there's gonna be more coming. You know, these guys are working on, on consistent patches for fixes as well as content stuff, too. So, speaking of content. I want to go ahead and pull up the content manager. I'm not sure how familiar you guys are with the UGC. I know some of you have been using it. Um, but what I want to do is scroll through and see if I can just grab a park that's already been built. That's AM5. That's a brother. I think that's an older one. Blueprints. Yeah, I can't. I want to start using some of those two in my park as well. 
Nothing loading, that's fine. Let's go community. Nothing's still here. We go. There's a bunch of people building coasters. Crazy coasters. Love it. Actually, community, visitors, this one is, is huge. I actually tried to, well, a word of warning, if you guys go into the content manager right now, what I'm showing you, and you come to my community, and then you come all the way down here to maps, if you try to load this first one, it will crash on you. This map is huge. There's a ton of peeps. There's a, a ton of stuff in there that dispersed build, and I can't see the name tag on it, so it's kind of, I don't know who who's responsible. <laughs> Negative one million, one billion cash. Nice. That's pretty funny. So let's see if we can do. We got Bob one, small town, bolt on towers. Right now, get something Dalton's town. Let's see. You know what? Let's uh, whoever is responsible for Dalton's town, I'm gonna go ahead and brave it. Live stream, anything can happen. Let's see. You guys, you have JMR shout out. Always be respectful, nothing but love in the channel. You guys got constructive criticism and feedback. We always welcome it. We're, we're listening. Yeah, please, guys, as, as JMR is just saying, if the chat starts to get heavy and starts to flow, uh, please shout me out at Roller Coaster Tycoon. This way it's highlighted. I can see it. That's all. I try to get to chat as I'm going through. Hopefully this park will load. We will see. Oh, I oh oh, missing UGC assets. Subscribe. Okay, that's fine. See, look, that means he's got a ton of UGC. So let's give it a minute. Looks like it's trying to load it. You hear that Western theme music? You guys are seeing the missing shadows again, too. Yep. Look at this. I don't know whoever this user is. It's been pretty creative. He's got fountains in the water over here all around this wooden coaster. You know what? I don't really care about the action. See, that's the beauty of it. You visit somebody's park, you can't do anything. You can't do coaster cam. You can't do peep cam. Not yet. Not yet. Possibility it will happen down the line. But basically, you can do is just go through and check out their park and see what they built. I'm really, I wish I could ride this wooden coaster right now because that would be really cool. Come through the water area right between all those different fountains. That'd be really cool. Got a little stagecoach area set up over here, which is really cool. You guys are getting really creative with your parks, man. And again, a big shout out to JMR for yesterday. I want to see you finish that castle map, man. You got to do that. I want to see, I want to see the full four-point castle finish with a complete moat. Got to do it, man. Got to do it. I'm digging it. It's a western theme. The canyon. Loving the canyon. And I got here the, the theme music being whistled. Old western style. Here's one of the other things, too. The facades. Love it. You can put these all around side so it actually look two saloons. The spotlights. Those are pretty crazy. A little sitting area. So I love how this person... I really wish they would stamp the names on these two. I'm not sure if people aren't just adding their names or it's not registering. That's something that uh, I'm actually going to come over here really quick because I'm taking notes as well, too. Just making a note for the dev team that the user creative parks, you can't see, some of them you can't see the names when you're trying to load them. Nice. But it's cool, that's what I'm saying. You can go in and you can visit their parks. <laughs> Look at that level detail. Put up the do not enter sign and the peeps won't go in. See that? Service area. Employees only. Let's go back out to the main menu. Sorry, Army. I'm just trying to jump back and forth here. I'm going to go cycle through and try and pick out another one really quick. It's kind of nice, these uh, the community-made parks and maps that are here. That one actually loaded pretty quick, which I was very happy about. So I'm just going to do a scroll all the way down to the bottom and get one that's 
Looks like everybody's just doing the same one. And you got that little thumbnail, too, that's right in the beginning right there that you can't... It's kind of like a tease. You can't really see the whole full park, and, and it's... Uh, do I want to see that one? Do I not want to see that one? It's kind of kind of weird. Next. All right, so... New game. Let's see if new game loads. 794 visitors, current cash, 14,000. Park value, not too shabby. Let's see if it'll load up. Wait for it. I want to check out the chat. The Foo Gaming Live. Multiplayer in the game. Can you also build one park map with more people on the same time or later on? They have talked about this. Uh, multiplayer is a very tough thing to implement. And we're trying to make sure that the core stuff is really solid for everybody. Um, I would love that. I would love to be able to go and have a community park that everybody can add to. I can go in and work on it, but see one of those problems is multiplayer localization of, okay, can everybody be in there at the same time, and so on and so forth. So that's, that's going to be a tough one. That would be awesome. That would be really, really awesome. I still like the fact that, you know what, my buddy's building the park. I don't have to physically go over to his house to see it. I could jump on right here and check it out. Hell 91. Yeah, I hope we can inspect a tweak to the vomiting. Yeah. Oh, this one's already loaded. Look at that. Peeps have nowhere to put their trash considering... Consider building some trash cans. I will consider that. Not my park, so I can't. Yeah, that, that... Any of these... I think it's... It's issue with the older... Excuse me, you can't change the graphics on the inside of the game, so you can't check if this saved game has those settings. But that's another note I'm actually going to take over here. I'm pretty sure you guys have already mentioned that if you're seeing it. But I take specific stream notes, so we can take a look at the videotape when it's done. Parks. Good. Save that. We don't lose it. Good. Oh, not too shabby. I like wide open space. You got some pretty nice pathing going on in here. I see lots of uh, garbage and other forms of bowel movement, perhaps, whatever you want to call it. See no garbage cans. Lots of cool rides, though. Yeah, I know. My, my, hold on, I gotta fix my mouse. Here. This thing is tweaking out on me. There we go. That's better. See, like that. I don't know. This uh, this looks like a pre-built one. I would love to be able to ride that coaster. People are loving it. They're trying to get on it. But that's the beauty of it, guys. You can go and try and load up those parks. And again, you can see you can see the light coming through. Let's go ahead and cycle through. Let's go ahead and speed it up and cycle through and try and lock it on nighttime. You can see the sun overhead cycling through. But again, those detailed shadows are here, and I took that note over there too here just a minute ago. Not too shabby. Very dirty. This person needs to add some uh, trash cans. Nice nighttime lights, though. Yeah, you see, see JMR, what I was saying before, I full cycle with day night, and it's still not rendering the shadow, so. Right. Try to load up another one. So that'd be the third one consistently. Reload back, jump up the chat. Jeremy2410, how's the game? Jeremy, it's great. Uh, like I said, we were talking earlier. I'm not sure how recent you jumped into the stream. We uh, we patched last night. So there was a big update, bug fixes and stuff. Graphics look a lot better. Um, so yeah, definitely check it out. Nickname. All right, Nick. Can you assign staff areas, like patrol areas? No, not yet. What you can do, what I found to help a tip and trick that, I'm not sure is in that tips and trick link. Um, if you adjust your maintenance settings on the rides down to 10 minutes, that makes them more reliable because the mechanics will come and fix them more often or maintain and look at them before they break more often. Um, yeah, there are some balancing issues that 
are there with uh, mechanics currently. I'm sure you guys are well aware that I see some broken rides quite frequently. Um, so that's another one too. Um, I'm just I'm scrolling through chat here, guys. I'm trying to do both at the same time. The real Mike O, limping and holding arms. Yes, that means they're injured. Um, and again, there's some balancing with the uh, medics that the dev team is currently working on. So yeah, I don't want to try. I'm actually going to see if 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 I load the last one from what I had, regardless of whether it has the shadows or not. I made a nice little uh, peace and quiet area with a couple of four fountains and trees and benches, and I think I saved it as a medic was over there tending to a hurt peep. So I'm hoping that's still there because I can show it to you guys. Olive Q, what's the difference between the game modes? Well, campaign will run you through um, start to finish with a set of basic tutorials on how the game works and how to move the camera and place rides and update the sim management aspects. Um, the scenarios are predetermined uh, game scenarios. So you may get a park that's doing terrible that you need to make better. You may get a park that's very small. You may need to expand. I don't want to give away any spoilers if you've never played. And sandbox is sandbox. It's free, open, rain to do whatever you want. All right, so back to my park. Even though there's no shadows. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. I agree, but we're going to carry on. This is my little peace and quiet area I was talking about. See if she's still over here. <laughs> See, this, uh, even though this person right here is trying to sit on a bench, but she's not. That's hilarious. But you see, the medics, what they'll do is when the peeps get injured and they get tired, they sit. So what the medics do is they try to go over to the injured peeps as they're sitting and they're going to wander right through all that stuff. You guys have seen all this. Nothing to hide, right? But that's what they try and do. The medics try and go through and say, hey, you're not feeling well. You're sitting down. You're not feeling rested. How can I help you? And that's basically how they're going to go through. Plus, I love this little area because of the sound. It's so peaceful and serene. Peace and calm. Take a break and relax. Wishing it was shadow. So now, I got a lot of open space in this park. Like I said, I got about five tiles, I think. I'm actually going to pull up park expansion and take a look really quick. Morning. There we go. Yeah, I know. You're trying to get me to go through. And it won't let me. See? Because it's on that tutorial piece, it wants me. It's trying to force me to build a custom coaster. Do I dare? Not yet. I don't dare do that yet. And it's not letting me modify the terrain, not letting me do anything complete. Let's try that again. Yep, see? It's good. It's fine. Taking notes. Put that note over here as well. And I'm sure you guys can hear me typing away as well. Oh, and the shadows are back, too. How about that? See those? And you can see, as I zoom out, you can see with that's one of the pieces of optimization right now. Because when you zoom all the way out, the game has so much to render. They become, for lack of a better term, a little bit lower res than what they are. I shouldn't say a little bit because you can see it right here. But if I zoom in, you can see how defined and detailed they get. So while I'm really happy that those are back, I still can't operate any of the UI, which is really frustrating right now, but that's okay. We're going to keep carrying on. Yeah, but nickname, I totally loaded it up before, and it's the same thing. Like, I did a, almost a full cycle, a full day-night cycle where the shadows didn't load. So, I don't know. Again, you know, early access, guys. Stuff is, is not going to be right. Stuff's going to get broken. You're going to see weird stuff going on. That's why we ask you, listen, come out, play it, let us know what's going on, keep us updated. Everybody's going to experience something different. That's the beauty of early access. There's a great opportunity for us to have so many different PC specs out there try the game and say, okay, well, what's your spec? Well, what are you running? Or what, what are your settings? What's going on? To try and really pinpoint how they can optimize it across a whole bunch of range of different machines. 
don't think I scroll past anything. That's good. That's fine. Okay. So aside from that, being that I can't go ahead and put in anything, I think it's stuck on trying to build that one coaster because of the tutorial. Because this UI works. I can check everything else. I can go down to park operations, peep thoughts, guests and park, park value, park rating, entry price. I can do all that. That's fine. I can actually do AI or sim checks. I can still do peeps. I'm, no, peeps aren't working. Oh, that's actually a janitor. I can't kick on janitors. Peep cam works. And where's my up coaster? This one. Let's go ahead and do a test. Oh, there's the night cycle. Flowing thrill. I think it just ended. Let's see if I get there. There it goes. Test run. Let's do it. A nice nighttime. Yeah, I'm missing a lot. Of, I need to put more lampposts too. I have no lampposts. The only thing is, is that one of the issues right now is raised paths. The lampposts won't snap to those. Oh, uh, that's definitely been noted. Shadows are still there. You can see how being up high, they turn. And as we go through, we get closer, they become more crisp and clear. How's that coaster cam looking out there on the stream, though? Is that relatively clear? Seeing a couple that say, yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. I hope it um, optimizes for YouTube as well, because that's one of the, uh, one of the other issues. YouTube optimization. And that's the end of that one. Pass! Lovely! I know it passed. I don't know why people weren't really getting on it, so let's open it. Probably because it's too expensive. Let's drop it down. Let's drop it down to three bucks. And it's only at one. I want to put reliability up higher. So a ten minute interval ins for inspection. Pendulum, again, this thing goes down, like 61% reliability with the 10 minute inspection interval. That's, uh, funky. And it's three bucks. So, I'm gonna jack that down to two. Once it gets fixed, hopefully people get on it. And you guys can see I went crazy over here with the raised paths and cues. I had a sci-fi cue right here. And the peeps don't... Peeps are lazy. They don't like raised cues. They don't like walking uphill or downhill. Alright? That's just my opinion. Of course. Checking out some of the chat. Mordecai's looking good. Thank you very much. Junicum. I posted it through my studies on my computer. DX tag. Good. Those are the type of things you want. Absolutely. Post your DX tags if you guys know how to do them. Um, I'm not going to go through the stream on how to show you how to do that. You can Google that. It'll, sh it'll tell you really quick on how to do that. Uh, Tiger 92 transport rides. Not yet. They are on the list, but not yet. Mordecai's, can you build underground? Not yet. You can deform the terrain, make nice divots and moats, as if you were guys were checking out GMR stream yesterday. Um, no underground yet. It is on the list. I'm digging my shadows. I'm really happy the shadows are back, but really kind of annoyed that I can't build anything. But that's okay. So, let's go back out to the main. I really saw some cool UGC stuff that I'm not sure you guys have seen yet. So I'm going to go load up a blank sandbox right now, and I want to pull in some stuff for the sandbox. And because we've seen Frolicking Forest, let's do... Let's do Lilac Lake and see what happens. All right, guys. Chat time. What am I calling the park? What do we name it? I think I'm going to name it after somebody. Hmm, who do I want to name it after? Who do I want to name it after?
Yeah, there we go. That's what I want to see. Background, name it, clan it, poster. Yeah. You're a funny person. Mordecai's, Mordecai's, Dick World. Okay, I love it. I love it. Nookie Haven. Gary from the UK. That's what I'm calling it. Nookie Haven. I'm digging it. I am digging it. And you guys saw that new ability too now. You can check off whether you want it to be completely flat or not. This way you don't have to go through and delete all of the pre-generated stuff that's in the map. It just comes completely clean slate. Oh, look at the gold. I love the gold. Look at that. Shiny. Oh, so shiny. All right, first and foremost. Park expansion. Again, if you guys haven't seen that, I'm going to do it one more time for you guys. I know it's, it's probably an old thing, but some of the people on the forums were still asking about it a couple days ago. Modify terrain. All the way to the right, park expansion. Third time's a charm, right, guys? Girls? Let's go ahead. I want to go ahead. I want to open up this whole thing. Just this way, I'm going to save it off, too. This way, I have a nice, fresh canvas for myself where I can get nice and creative. We some happy little trees all over the place. Now, I'm going to see what I pulled down for UGC, right? There's a whole bunch of stuff. And that's one of the issues, too, the thumbnails. You can see all the stuff that I went downloaded. Dinosaurs T-Rex. GMR, I think you showed the T-Rex, right? Look at that. Somebody went out in a 3D modeling software program and made a T-Rex. Seriously? There's also a Jurassic Park wall out there, too, if you guys haven't seen that yet. Uh, now, let's see if I can get some... I know I pulled down some blueprints. Only pulled down a couple. I'm going to drop those really quick. Golden Eagle. Custom coaster, Golden Eagle. Watch it build. Wait for it. It's trying to build all those supports. We're going to ride this one too, guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. F1 Dave. Jordan knows how to fix thumbnails. Awesome. Talk to us, Jordan. Let us know how to fix those thumbnails. That would be great. You know what would be great? A Steam Guide. Trying to pump up the Steam usage. Really cool stuff over there, guys. <laughs> nice. PFC. Yeah. Very good point. Difficulty adjustment minus more space equals more rides, equals more money, equals less difficult. To raise the price to make it more costly. Yeah. Look at that. Nice coloring on this one, too. Craziness. All right. I hope you guys got your seatbelts on. We're riding it. Here we go. Floorless. Let's do it. Yep. Shout out to JMR. Yeah, we are keeping... I'm actively taking notes here of stuff that I see and or don't see. Um, and yeah, please, if you guys don't report your stuff or, or put it somewhere, we won't know. So please, that feedback living off of it. Oh, here we go. Nice. Oh, nice. Check out some of the chat, too, while we're, while we're going on the coaster cam here. Renzi's, yes, the Steam emitter. I've seen a couple of different emitters on UGC, which are pretty crazy. Like we looked at that old, that old canyon, the Western theme one, where they actually had the emitters. They were, it was like water fountain, but those are emitters too, essentially, and just spitting up and they float. You drop them in the water, they float in the water, which is really cool. Well, that one wasn't too bad. So 
wait on the pass. Great. Look at some of these numbers. Mm, average speeds, couple of slowdown spots. Some of the other heat maps still aren't quite tweaked the way they should be yet. That blueprint's already been saved. What else did I pull down? I pulled down a couple of other things from UGC that I want to drop currently. I'm not gonna I'm not worried about bringing people into the park. I want to see the stuff. Play it. I want to drop it. Go back to coasters. Golden Eagle. Nope. Vampire. Ooh, this one looks nasty. My goodness, this thing is a monster. That thing is a monster. And you see, there's I, there's no way for me to see who built this. So, whoever's responsible for the vampire, if you're out there, say something. You're very creative. I like it. I like it a lot. Now, what do you think I'm going to do? Of course, I'm going to ride it. Uh-oh. I may have to look away at some point. I have a weak stomach. No, I'm just joking. I love roller coasters. Do it. Mr. Womack, welcome back, Mr. Womack. Love to have you. Mad Dog, it's a nice trick. Not a trick, dude. Early access, man. Gives you the opportunity to jump in and offer some feedback to us. Help make it progress over time. Taimaru Hockey. Yes, Vampire Coaster goes well with zombie peeps. I like that. Well played. Fox Mountain that made Vampire. Thank you, Karan. I'm going to put that down here. And miraculous and miraculously. Thank you, IDJ. Thank you. I'm put I'm taking these notes. Because we got some pretty cool stuff lined up for content creators. So get out there and get creative, guys. Start building stuff, making stuff, posting it, putting it on the workshop, putting it up UGC, please. Duncan Riddle One. Thank you for all the RCT games. Have grown up with them. Yes. Myself as well. A lot of the other devs on the, on the team, too. Pass, of course. Love it. And I don't want to do it one more time. Let's get out. We got two more. Wild Beast and Woodpecker. I know who built Woodpecker. That's Max Freak. Max, if you're out there in chat, well played, sir. We're going to do Wild Beast first. Let's take a look. One other cool thing with the custom coaster builder that I want to show you guys that you guys have been asking for that I'm not quite sure you're aware are there yet. What am I going to do? You know what I'm going to do. But I got to run it first, correct? See how it's like, building. Wooden coaster, building all the struts. Build those supports. All the way around. All the way around. Alright. Let's go ahead and test it and ride it. Wooden coasters. One of my favorites from the area. You know, we're, I'm here locally in New York City. And out in Brooklyn, there's a, a little place that you may have heard of called Coney Island. Okay? There's, a, there's one specific roller coaster called the Cyclone. The best wooden coaster anywhere. If you agree to disagree, then holler at me in chat. I love that ride. Gary UK, yeah. That's why I grabbed the Woodpecker ride, because I... I I liked it. I liked the way it looked. You have beautiful mountains. Well, oh, let's not ruin the ride. All right, look, back on the ride. There we go. Schnabelino, yes, there are still block breaks. Actually, you know what? Clarify that. What do you mean by block breaks? I'm going to put the question back on you. The Magician, you agree to disagree. Well played. That's fine. Canada's Wonderland. Oh, I, I will come ride the Woodies in Canada's Wonderland next time. Where in Canada? I'm curious. 
Is it on the east coast or on the west coast of Canada? How long would it take me to get there? This one's actually rather peaceful. Not too crazy. It's actually calm and soothing. George and the Dragon in the Netherlands. Mark JK 1988. I've never been to the Netherlands, but if I get out there and I get time, I will definitely check it out. Nickname, will there be VR support? Not yet. Would I love to put on an Oculus right now and ride a coaster? You are absolutely positive, yes. Not yet. Not yet, guys. One step at a time. All right, we have Woodpecker. Last one. Max Freak. No, oh, we already did that one. Put Wild Beast. I only got three. Which one am I missing? I just did Wild Beast, right? Yes. I'm, a, I'm special, excuse me. Yeah, there we go. Let's snuggle this one up right next to the other one. Just for viewing appeal. Shots. See how they light? Look at that. See, he colored. See how he colored all the different support structure? I love that. I'm sorry. That's one of the one of those little things that I love. You, all the, the three different customizations for track that you can adjust. All right, so let's run a test. Max Freak, riding your coaster, dude. Live with Rusty, Valley Fair, and then a bad wooden coaster. Yeah, I know what the asterisks mean too. Yeah, I'm all about it, man. Brooks Rail 101. Why is it that when the coasters make an emergency stop on the lift hill, and the mechanic fixes it, the coaster don't get working again? Uh, there are some balancing issues with the mechanics and how they fix things. I know one of the issues was that when they fix a ride, they would turn it off. I'm pretty sure they fixed that one, though. I'm not entirely sure, so don't quote me on that. Uh, but yeah, some of the balancing stuff, that specifically, they're looking at all that. All right, here we go. Nice. Nice dips. Yes. Bank. Bank it in. A little bit of a bank. Not too crazy. Another dip. Very nice. You guys excuse me too. I'm actually gonna get a beverage over here. I'm quite thirsty. Doobie, LOL, yes. Extreme high nausea and excitement ratings going to be lowered. Yeah, that's a balancing issue. Some of them are crazy. Um, I know somebody actually did a stream and they archived it on YouTube to where they, they went back and they ran RCT3 and they had some coasters that were super crazy, but the actual, uh, all of those different, the nausea rating, excitement rating, everything were uh, balanced differently. So that's coming. That's been noted. That's one of the issues that uh, they're definitely looking at. Background friction. Are you talking about friction brakes? Friction brakes are there. Right, PFC. Canada's Wonderland is in Vaughan, Ontario. East Coast. Fairly close to Toronto. Okay. That's not too bad. No water. Too cold for water rides right now. Terror. Terror toe. Sorry. Maybe when the weather gets a little bit warmer, we can do some water rides. Damien Gorski, will you add import coaster from older version of RCT? That's an uh, that's an extremely complex request. At this current state and time, I'm not sure. I don't want to say yes or no or confirm deny. That would be really cool to get some of those old coasters. But you know what? Build it. Custom coaster builder. And that's that one. I'm loving all these custom coasters, too. Just the ability to build them. And again, no shadows. That's all right. I already noted that one. 
Peeves have nowhere to go. Sorry, peeps. Unfortunately, I know you guys have nowhere to go. What are we doing on time? Just let me get a time check over here. Oh, wow. I've been 45. It feels like I've been doing this for like five minutes. Go over 45 minutes into it. Cool. So, I mean... One of the only other things I wanted to show you that I'm not sure if you guys are aware yet. Yeah, I know my park is dark. I have no lamps whatsoever. Let's come over to a nice flat piece of land right over here. Let's go custom coaster. I don't think it... Man, actually, you know what? I was going to do floorless, I do believe. Custom. You guys seeing this? You guys know what that is? You what you guys have been asking for? I'm waiting for the chat. I know there's a bit of a delay and I'm purposely waiting. Nobody's going to answer my question. It's a roofless coaster station. I'm not going to go through and build a custom coaster right now. You guys will fall asleep. It's very tedious. I could, I could spend another five hours doing a custom coaster building one coaster. I don't want to do that with you guys. <laughs> there, there, there's the delay kicking in. Roofless, 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 roofless. Yes. Love it, right? I should just test it and launch it off right here now. Money to that sort of thing. But yeah, let's check it out. Um, and that was specifically using Floorless Coaster. If we go check Dive Coaster. Here's the standard Floorless for the Dive Coaster. So you can see that they are similar. Again, little bits piece by piece, guys. One step at a time. Baby steps, right? So if you go through, let's say, how about we do an accelerator coaster? Custom. Here's another one. Standard. Open top. You can see it. Similar. Again, like I said, baby steps, one piece at a time, but they're there. Pretty sure that they're there for all the coasters. If not, let us know, please. I haven't gone through all of them to look either, so... Some chat. What's going on in chat now? Super Mr. MC, we will be will we be getting a floorless dive coaster? That's a very good question. That would be kind of intense. I can't answer that right now. I don't know. I right, DJ is that dozen? I'm probably butchering your name and I apologize, but would it be possible in the future to move the entrance and exits? Something that was talked about, but not yet, not currently. Live with Rusty. Water Rides? Water Rides is on the list, but it's not coming yet. It's something they're talking about. Uh, if you remember with uh, RCT3, they had a whole expansion for Water Rides. Um, one of my favorites, the original Log Flume. Hopefully we'll get that back. Again, uh, nothing immediate. Through Conundrum 80. Will Peeps also get improved shadows, especially when zoomed out? Conundrum, yes. They are also being worked on. There is a huge list of stuff that you guys have been giving to us that we're taking a look at. Um, I'm not going to go over that entire list. It'll be a whole other QA session in and of itself. So. PFC, can we have a tool that can be used to drain a flooded map? I actually flooded a map and just used the water removal tool and it, it kind of worked. It wasn't 100%. Uh, and then after a little while, it actually drained and went away. I'm not sure how much of a flood you have in the specific park you're talking about. But try that. I'm not sure if you were to try that. Give that, give that a shot. Backroom, I suppose stairs is on that list too. That list keeps growing and growing and growing. There is a ton of stuff that's on that list. Stairs has been noted. Brooks Rail 101 rotating log flume station. Yeah, that would be pretty cool too. So yeah, I just one of the things I wanted to show you guys was the roofless coasters. I know that was a question out there. Uh, bringing it to you. Hyper coaster. 
You go build a hypercoaster, same thing. Standard station, it's there. I'm digging them. I'm really digging them. And I'm actually going to go throw and kill these. Yes. You know why? Because this is going to be my canvas for later, guys. Yeah, I know my park is very dark. Nothing in it. I'm going to go ahead and kill all these. And I'm actually, there was one other user-created park that I was looking at earlier that I think we have some time that I want to go see if it'll load and check it out because it looked, the thumbnail looked pretty cool. If I could even find it, so. So let's go ahead and save this. Nookie Haven. New save game. And for you guys out there, what I want to start doing on some of the streams is getting creative. Uh, we want to do these twice a week, so I kind of want to split them up between, uh, hey, this is the patch that's coming that you guys are going to see to kind of go over patch notes and stuff. I don't want to already talk about things you guys have heard. Um, kind of give you a sneak peek of what's coming to let you know. Um, the other one is to get creative. You know, be a little less scripted, go through, build some stuff, and save it. This way you guys can see it. You can walk through it. Um, same thing with the custom coasters. We start building those as well. I want to start saving my blueprints out there. So no description. We'll leave it. Lilac Lake. Everything looks good. Go ahead and save. Please wait. Back to the main menu. It's loading. We'll check out some chat. TFC, it's a pity to actually drain. It's deeper than the top of the entrance. Wow, man. Feels bad, man. You drowned your peeps. You flooded your park, dude. Yeah, I'm not sure how long it would take for you to try and actually drain that with the remove water tool, but uh, other than that, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I'll actually make a note here. Terrain. Deformation. Water removal. Mass water removal. Good one. Damien Gorski, can you do it so that the save games you can edit the description? I wonder if you can even, let's, let's see that. If I go to do a save game, can you not edit the description right now? Is that the current case? Loading, wait for it. Yeah, I know. I always I always forget to change the Twitch thing. And that's, you know what? Thank you for that. All caps. I, I did change it with the new link for the countdown, but I forgot to change it when we went live. Uh, change the Twitch. Alright, so now if we go back to save... I'm just going to do one. Let's go. Nookie Haven 2. No description. You can change the description. And I'm just gibberish. Gibber typing. Let's actually do this. We'll do live stream. And today's date. 2016-0407. Today's the 7th, correct? I think so. Yes. Good. So... I think it will stay. Sync to Steam Cloud. Hopefully it'll hang. Back to the main menu. I do. We're, we're running out of time here, guys. And I may end up going over. Oh, okay, I see what you mean, Damien, after already saving the game. Yeah, no, I think when you go and try to resave it as what you already had, it's just going to overwrite the existing. I'm not sure if it gives you that option to do that, so... All right. Let's see if I can find that park really quick. Supermark cover, yeah, piece by piece building. UGC has some of that in there now more to come and that is something that they're talking about as well too am am oh, actually you know what this is local so 
So if we do immunity, see what comes up. Like I said, this first one on if you go to the if you go to maps and community, this first one will not let this one is huge. So let's go. Do we look at this one? I don't think we look at this one. Double A. 573 visitors. That's not bad. Let's see if it loads. Yeah, Damien, about five minutes left. I'm not going to get too, too crazy and go over. I know. Where did the time go? Time flies when you're having fun, right? I mean, it's great. Shout out to Grandmaster. Yeah, continuously working on updates and improving performance. Uh, yeah, performance is an issue for some, absolutely. Uh, optimization is one of those things. Uh, you know, being able to use Unity fully is what, what the dev team is all about. So they are working on optimization, and it's 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 tough one, guys. You know, there's so many different PC builds nowadays that you can have a range of a super low end or a super high end or anything in between, and to compensate across for all of those is really, really tough. So kudos to the dev team. You guys out there working on the tech, keep doing what you're doing. Here's another park that I loaded. Mm, let's, see, let's see if the shadows load after a minute. Not too bad. Some wide open space. I like how they built around. I'm not sure. I think this is a... I won't see it. That's the whole... You know what? I'm actually going to make a note of that one. Uh, visiting... And I will tell about as I type visiting user generated parks community. You should be able to check detail. Sim panel. Basically, what I'm taking a note here for is like if I, I'm in somebody else's park, I should be able to at least click on the stuff to see the names, right? I mean, like, what did they name this coaster? I have no idea what they named that coaster, so. It's kind of peaceful. I've got a bunch of different rides. The hay ride, you got the spinning monkey banana ride. You can hear the cha-ching of cash, people buying souvenirs, getting food. It's all really good stuff. Some of you guys get the, the name coloring, which I keep swapping back and forth between dark mode because I can't read. Fan de Flonox, is this game looking bad? Check your Twitch quality settings. Well, sometimes the bandwidth, there's, there's a limit. There's a cap on bandwidth that Twitch will push through for some of the stuff. Who's that? Duncan? Duncan Riddle 1? I don't know. I gotta keep swatch, switch it back and forth between this dark mode. Some of these names, I don't like the way Twitch does that, but that's okay. Duncan Riddle. Any way to make PS4 or Xbox version? That is a tall order, sir. So, not yet. That'd be cool. I will tell you what, though. You can use Xbox controller. You can use Steam controller. See if it works. Ready? Check it. Navigating. Look at that. Navigating with the controller. It's always been an option, which has been really cool. Because you can get, like, if you jump into free camera mode, and you can't really do it on this one here. Triggers to zoom. Visiting a park. So you know what? I'm actually going to load up my park that I had that I have no shadows on. take a minute to load but just to show you the ability like if you guys are trying to do like a park showcase getting yeah, no, a hold on get a direct message here yep so I want to load my camp too because I just want to show you Mark JK 1980 graphics look great thanks man I appreciate it I wish my PC could handle it but I have to play on low yeah that's okay take some time squirrel away some money upgrade I too myself I don't have a super high-end PC at home so I have to do the same thing 
Uh, it's still super fun to play. Even at the low graphics, crank it up. You get really creative, man. You get into the sandbox mode. It's like a blank canvas. I really love that. Grandmaster, really? Now that song is going to be stuck in my head all day now. And yes, I do like pina coladas and getting caught in the rain. Yes. Let's give this park a minute to uh, load up. What is that? N May, H May? Hold on. I gotta keep switching back and forth between this dark mode. That's kind of annoying. Sorry. N May Total bought the game playing with 5 FPS. That's pretty tough. I'm not sure what your specs are. You might want to take a look at some of those. Uh, essentially, try with the lowest settings at first to see what your FPS is. And really, you know, take a look at the threads too, man. On uh, the forums, a lot of information on, you know, people posting their actual DX DIX specs. All right, so this thing is fully loaded. I yeah, keep seeing some of that FPS stuff. You know, something else you might want to think about, too, about the settings. Update your drivers. Not just your video card drivers, but Windows updates, too, because this is, the actual computer will use the CPU. And if there's a Windows update or a patch or something that comes through for that, that may help. So always be sure to go through, update your drivers, double check those. I know NVIDIA, if you're running NVIDIA cards, they put out updates almost every other day. I mean, I come in every other day and they're, hey, update, you know, GeForce Experience, check your update now. All right, cool. So I'm back again on the Xbox controller right here. You guys can see it. I want to talk about the fly-throughs. If you switch over to free camera mode, you can get really precise with driving through using the actual joystick, which is really nice. So you can get cool flybys cool videos to showcase your park once it's fully built because like if you do it with the other camera this one is like really sensitive so you can get up really fast when you're panning and scrolling back full back and forth and it's kind of choppy plus if you're recording the audio too you can hear my key click which is kind of annoying but if you swap press f the hot key is f it's to put you in screenshot mode for f11 but f will change it over to free camera mode and then you can see that you can get those nice, smooth transitions that can come through your park. I love those. Being able to capture that footage like that, you don't see too much tearing. It's not as choppy. And I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna close out with my favorite area of this park. See, the only difference is you can't zoom out. This is actually like a fly-through camera, so you have to angle it where you want it to go. Oh, is that lady still over here? I think so. Nope. Oh, peeps on benches. Love it. See? They're tired and they sit down. Sorry, guys. This is my favorite area of the park I built. It's peaceful. I turn off the music and just listen to the rushing water, meditate, peace and calm. It's a beautiful thing. So, again, yeah, we are over by three minutes exact. So, I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to take a look here in chat and see what's going on, see if there's anything crazy going on. Sylvester, you're most welcome about the heads up the Xbox controller. It's a lot different. I myself am an old school keyboard mouse guy, so the transition is a little tough. Uh, it also works with the Steam controller. This thing is crazy. You can super customize this to make it, you can put the, the all the, like, the different touchpad, you can take and make the mouse cursor and zoom in and out with all the different, it's crazy. If you haven't checked out the Steam controller, definitely give it a whirl. Super customizable. Pug Lover 89. I need the toilet now. Thanks. Oh, the running water? Sorry. Feels bad, man. Cake Mans. Where's your FPS counter? Not currently running one. Can you film on RCT? Is there a key for that, like on RCT 3? Um, currently in-game, I don't think there's one right now. I know I basically uh, I will use OBS is what I'm using to stream so I will do local recordings for that one um, and then you can take and chop them up it's fine Let's zoom it all the way out all right I know you guys are freaking out about the running water sound so I'll zoom out on that for you guys just want to go through a couple of questions here 
Mr. Womack, when will the next update be released? They're working on it currently. There's no date on that yet. Um, we spoke about that this morning in a different meeting. We are looking at when that's going to be coming to us. And that's kind of one of the things I want to do. You know, back to the whole focus of the stream, Tuesdays and Thursdays, right? Uh, I want to be able to say, you know what, Tuesday, the, for example, and this is not in stone. This is not coming next week. What I want to be able to do in theory is say on Tuesday, this is what they're working on. And this is what you guys are going to be getting to be able to show you the fixes that they've put in. If they've made, uh, if they've added content, for example, if new flat rides are coming or if they've updated graphics or shadows or rendering or anything like that to show you what's coming. And then Wednesday, I think we want to try and do some hosting type stuff. It's not confirmed. So anybody that's out there that's a streamer right now, send me. Uh, a message on Twitch. Don't actually PM me or whisper me. Send me a Twitch message because what we want to do is as that queue starts to build up, queue, huh, pun intended, I want to be able to say, you know what, Wednesday we're hosting JMR or Pug Lover 89 or Tuco Loco. We're going to, you know, if they're streaming, we want to host them just like some of you guys are doing for, for RCT right now, which is awesome. So definitely stay tuned to that. What else do we got? Just catching up here. And May total. Is there a blog on the best settings for more FPS? Yeah, the, actually, if you go over to uh, the tips and tricks, I'm actually going to pull it up for you right now. It's on our forums. And you know what? JMR might beat me to it because he's always hot on the button. But I'm going to navigate over there really quick. There's a tips and tricks blog. And it's kind of like a readme. It's over in the early access sub forums. I think the site is sluggish right now because a lot of people are hitting it. That's pretty funny. Now let's give that a minute to load. There, yeah, there is a there is a tips and tricks thread on what to do, what not to do, and it involves things like settings, um, the usage of the grid and snapping, uh, the coaster builder and stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, actually, you know what, Chad? If you guys are trying to hit the website right now where the forums are, let me know if they're down. Because this just basically went down for me. So that's a very good question. I will get back to you. Steam community. Yeah, JMR coming in to the rescue. Love it. That's the actual Steam community. It's another good one. Yeah, Superman. Super Mar cover. Sorry, I misread your name. Yeah, Tron 2 twice a week stream keep the communications consistent let you guys know what's going on i know when you guys first jumped on board with me here when i was doing throwback stuff that was really cool still love all the old games um but at the same time now we're in early access it's here you guys are seeing it you're getting the content and all that good stuff um and may thank you very much hero love nothing but love feels good man so guys today's thursday april 7th i really appreciate you stopping by we did go over on some of our time but like I said, twice a week we're going to do this. I put a sticky up on our forums. Once the actual site comes back up, you'll be able to see that in our announcements page for the RCTW section. Uh, and the link, the Cronus link for the countdown will be updated. So when you click on it, like when I'm going to, I'm going to go update it right now and put the countdown for next week. You'll see how long it goes. Hopefully it won't break on me going across the weekend and all that good stuff. But other than that, that's really going to do it, guys. I really appreciate you all stopping by and hanging out with us here in the RCTW channel. Uh, definitely more to come. I'm loving the positive feedback from everybody. Really digging all of the creativity that's going on out there. Shared some of the parks that people are making. Shared some of the blueprints from the coasters that people are making. So it's really... <sighs> feels good, man. That's all I got to say. And on that note, guys, really appreciate you stopping by. Until next time. We will see you guys then. Cheers.